Yeezys are making a comeback, Taylor Swift is leading the vinyl renaissance, and here's why you've probably already failed your New Year's resolution. Okay, first up, if you prefer to fly solo at work, it turns out you're far from alone. That's because a new survey has revealed that less than one in five Gen Z workers prefer working in a team environment, with 31% claiming to work better alone. The surveyed managers weren't too pleased with this though, naming a lack of communication skills, teamwork, and critical thinking as the barriers to young workers being better collaborators. Kanye West just unveiled his first new footwear drop since parting ways with Adidas in 2022. The Yeezy Pods are a sock shoe hybrid with sneaker soles available to pre-order in three size options now. They're retailing for around £160 and are expected to be shipped by the end of the month. So let us know, cop or drop? UK sales of vinyl LPs have hit the highest level since 1990, and it seems we have Taylor Swift to thank for the revival of the physical music market. Sales rose for the 16th consecutive year, jumping 11.7% to 5.9 million units in 2023. 1989, Taylor's version came out on top as last year's best-selling LP, while Louis Capaldi, Lana Del Rey, and two of Taylor's other albums also made the top 10. It's official, Amazon Prime Video is about to start showing ads. From February the 5th, films and TV shows on Amazon's streaming service will be broken up with ads, unless you're willing to stump up even more for your subscription. Apparently, the number of ads shown will be limited, and they say that the £2.99 extra charge will allow them to keep making compelling content. So maybe just watch this space for now. The New York Times is suing OpenAI and Microsoft for copyright infringement. Basically, they're alleging that the companies illegally copied millions of Times articles to help train everyone's fave AI assistant, ChatGPT. It's just the latest in a long line of complaints about the training of generative AI, with artists, musicians, and those in the film and TV industry already expressing similar concerns about the tech. London has been named the best city in the world for the ninth year in a row. Yep, once again, the UK capital has beaten the likes of New York, Paris, and Tokyo to top both the livability and lovability rankings. The World's Best Cities report also praised London's transport system, as well as its enduring popularity on social media. If you've already failed your New Year's resolution, we might know why. A survey by Forbes Health and one poll found that 61.7% of us feel pressured to set resolutions, but over 90% end up abandoning them within a matter of months. According to psychologists, the problem is we're just too ambitious for our own good and should focus on smaller immediate goals rather than broader resolutions. In other words, it may be best to let go of the whole new year, new me thing. That said, if becoming a more sustainable shopper is on your 2024 tick list, I've got some good news for you. So Amazon, Depop and Vinted have all recently reported a rise in revenue, with eBay searches for used furniture also growing by 140% a year. The second-hand shopping boom looks set to continue too, with analysis by ThreadUp suggesting that the global clothes resale market could double to be worth $350 billion by 2027. And considering 64% of Gen Zers look for used before buying new, what are you waiting for? And finally, Greta Gerwig's Barbie might have been the film of 2023, but did you know studios actually employed fewer female film directors on the top movies of last year? Women made up just 16% of directors on the 250 top grossing films, down from 18% the year before. The number of women employed as producers, writers, and executive producers also all declined. But at least a new year means new films, right? Anyway, that's it for today. See you next time for more bits for your brain. Thank you.